Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. Joining us this morning is Rabbi Yasse Goldwasser with Chabad of Mobile. Thank you so very much for joining us, sir. Sure, thank you. And we should point out that tomorrow at sunset starts Passover. For people Correct. that don't know what that is, what is Passover? So Passover is an eight-day holiday, a Jewish holiday, that we celebrate when over 3,000 years ago the Jewish people were um, enslaved in Egypt for over 200 years. And finally after that, God took them out and we were free people, so we take this time to celebrate. Now the story of Passover ties directly to the ten plagues that God sent to free the Jews from Egypt. What is the significance of these plagues? So uh, simply put, the plagues were to punish the Egyptians for the, um, the, the slavery that they put, they enslaved the Jewish people for so many years, they tortured them. Um, but it's just a little bit interesting that over here, um, God didn't just give them one plague, He didn't just hurt them or kill them or anything, He brought ten plagues and such interesting ones. And one of the explanations for that given is uh, um, that over here, God wasn't only trying to punish them, but also the Egyptians, they tried to, um, to deny any existence of mm -hmm. God, of Hashem, of the Jewish God. And by the time God finished all these ten plagues, finally every last Egyptian uh, and every person in the world really uh, agreed and admitted that Hashem, the Jewish God, is the true, the true God. Also, uh, in uh, Jewish mysticism, it explains how when we want to get closer to God, we take a lesson from each one of these ten plagues. For example, by the first plague was blood. Mm -hmm. um, the, the waters, which is usually cold, was transformed into blood, which is usually hot. And when we want to serve God, sometimes it just, we do it in a cold way. So over here, we have the lesson that we need to transform it, throw some passion and some excitement into our service to God. When we talk about Passover, there are special customs associated with it. What are some of the special traditions that come with a Jewish Passover? Okay, um, so in the Torah, uh, it says straight out what God told Moses to command to the Jewish people, and we follow that all the way till today. Uh, namely, we have that we should get rid of any leavened foods from our possession, and that's for the duration of the whole eight-day holiday. Um, we have the commandment to eat the matzah, the flat bread. We have the, co the commandment to eat the maror, which is the bitter herbs. And we have the commandment of, of course, telling over the story to the children and to everyone of the exodus of Egypt. You mentioned some of the foods that are specific to Passover. What do some of those foods symbolize? Okay, so the matzah that we just mentioned is flatbread. Um, when the Jewish people were finally given the green light, you could go, they took everything that they had and they ran. So they, they didn't have time to let the dough rise, and therefore they had the flatbread. So to, to remind ourselves of that, we have, now we have the matzah, mm -hmm. uh, the flatbread. Uh, we have the maror, which is the bitter herbs, to remind us of the bitter times that the Jewish people had while enslaved in Egypt. Is that like horseradish? Yes. And uh, tell me about some of the important spiritual lessons of Passover this time of year. Okay, so, um, uh, E on, on Passover, we celebrate the exodus of Egypt. Egypt in, uh, in Hebrew is Mitzrayim. Jewish mysticism teaches us that Mitzrayim comes from the word Metzar, which is a limit. And sometimes a person sees himself as a free man, but then when he thinks about where he really wants to be holding in life, he realizes that there's many impediments in life that, uh, that stop him from getting to where he really wants to be, whether it's addictions, whether it's peer pressure, low self-esteem. And uh, Passover is the time that we celebrate uh, breaking out of any impediments and anything holding us back. And what does it mean to really be a free person? It means that when we think about God put me in this world, it must mean that I can make a difference. And if I can make a difference, what special qualifications do I have that I can really contribute to the world? And when we are able to act on that and not have anything hold us back, that's what it really means to be a free man. All right, eight days of Passover starting at sundown tomorrow. Rabbi Yossi Goldwasser with Chabad Mobile, thank you so very much for joining us for this edition of Faith Time and News 5 this morning. We'll continue after the break.